hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel today's tutorial is based on how to draft and seal this tulip sleeve also known as petal sleeve so simple and very straightforward this is my starting point and from the starting point i marked four inches for the plate allowance you can decide not to put plate it's not compulsory so i marked four inches four inches is okay by me you can decide to use more than that too and the sleeve I'll be working with is 10 inches. The length of the sleeve is 10 inches. So I marked 10 inches and also rolled it out. So from the center fold, I mark 2 inches before starting my curve. So after the 2 inches, I try to make a kind of curve with free hand. And the arm wall I'm working with is 11 inches. So I mark my 11 inches plus 2 inches, same allowance. That gives me 13 inches. And for the slit circumference, I made use of 8 inches plus two inches same allowance that gives me 10 inches then i connected the lines together so that is my basic sleeve i'm just trying to connect the dots so starting from where we mark the four inches i just try and make a kind of curve to connect to the ham hole then cut it out In order to achieve this petal design, we need to open wide the pattern paper, then notch the center. This notching is very, very compulsory. And after notching, we mark like 4 or 5 inches to the left hand side. You can decide to mark it to the right hand side. This depends on preference. So after marking it, from the starting point or from the top, mark 10 inches, which is your exact sleeve length. You just mark your exact sleeve length and you can decide to reduce it by one or two it depends on how wide you want the opening to be after that you mark four or five inches on the right hand side at the hemline and you connect the dot together Our petal sleeve is almost ready. It's as simple as that. Then you just cut it out. After cutting that, you neglect this part. That part is not useful. This is the only part we are going to be using. And I'll be making use of this very flashy Ankara print. You cut four of that. And after cutting, this is what I have. This is the lining. I had it half inch seam allowance. I have four pieces for the lining and also four pieces for the Ankara print. Two, two pieces each for each sleeve so i had it half inch round remember there is a notch on the pattern paper please do not forget to also notch the fashion fabric and also the lining it is very very compulsory please add an interface to the fashion fabric and the lining and here i'm done ironing the interface to the fashion fabric and also the lining the next thing is for us to seal each together each piece together so just take the fashion fabric, take two pieces, then join it together. So arrange it in this manner. Put it together and just seal with half inch. We do the same to the other piece as well as the lining too. Seal each piece with half inch. After seeing this is what we have, I've already joined each pieces together. So the next thing is for us to now join the lining and the fashion fabric together. Just spread it, spread the fashion fabric. 
then you use the lining to join together. Just place it the way I'm doing and seal the down part all through, only the down part, seal it all through. Do the same to the other piece too. So after doing that, this is what I have. The next thing is for us to notch it. Because it's not straight, it's curvy. We have to give it a notch. Here is what I have after joining together and do not forget to top stitch it. After top stitching give it a nice press and after pressing, after ironing it, this is what I have. The next thing for us to do now is to place our notches on each other. Remember the notches at the top. We place it on each other like so. Then try to Pin it down. Then you can top stitch it before. I'm trying to mark out the pleat allowance, which is four inches. The remainder will serve as the armhole measurement, which is eleven, because the length is on the bigger side. So try and notch that four inches to make it easy for you to sew. So that's the four inches, then give it a notch too. Notch the other sleeve too, the other four inches. So after notching, you just spread it and start your pleat from the first notch to meet the other notch. I believe you understand. So that is where our notch ends. So from that area to the other side, you just plate it together. And after plating, this is what I have. The petal sleeve is ready. The tulip sleeve is ready. The remaining will serve as the ammo for the cleanse. It's as simple as A, B, C. I believe you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like and share. Till I come your way next time, I remain your girl, Zion Creativity. Love you.